How do you find the perfect hair color for your complexion? There are many shades to choose from. However, not all colors are well suited for your skin tone. The goal is to select a color that brightens your face and eyes. And what works well for one person may not hold true for another. Today, I'm joined by hair color stylist Alicia Maxwell to discuss the best way to discover the range of colors that would look great on your skin tone. All right. Hi, Alicia. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Okay. I am great. I am so glad that you agreed to um, answer a few questions about hair coloring. This is a problem that I've had for a long time. Like, I really do not know what color goes well for my complexion. I have a caramel complexion, and I've tried nearly every color from blonde to black. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to me. So first, can you tell me what's your background in hair coloring? Yeah, so I've been a professional hairstylist for 15 years. Um, I've done a lot of hair colors. <laughs> and I've done a lot of helping people choose the right hair color for them. So this, I'm quite familiar with this topic. Okay, great. So what is the first thing, if I'm looking to decide on changing my hair color, I have a natural dark brown, very dark brown hair color. It's not all the way, it's not black, but it's a, just a really, really dark brown. What, what should I look for, especially if I want to go much lighter than my actual hair color? So that's a really good question. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is determine what your skin tone is. Um, and a lot of people don't really know how to do that, but there's basically there's three categories. So you have your warm skin tones, your cool skin tones, and your neutral skin tones. And you can actually, a little trick to determine that is if you look at the veins on the inside of your wrist, mm -hmm. if you can see them, if yes. they look blue or purple, you have a cool skin tone. But if they look green, you have a warmer skin tone. And if you can't really tell what color they look like, then you probably have a neutral skin tone. Okay, I would say for me, it's more green, but I've actually, I've actually tried um, dark brown and, and black hair, like the actual color, like, and it looked really um, dull on my face. Like it, yeah. didn't, it didn't really bring out my complexion. So I think for me, I'm probably more of the, the warmer tone. If it sounds like if you said your skin's like a caramel tone, you're probably a warm tone. And so what that means is that no matter what color you want to do, whether it's going to be brown or blonde, it's all about the tone. And that's what a lot of people have a, a difficult time determining is what what tone they need to look for. Um, I've had clients who come into my chair and tell me that they want a really cool buttery blonde. And I'm like, girl, that's, <laughs> that's an oxymoron. That's, a, that's a warm, cool color. It just doesn't exist. Um, so in all, in all spectrums of blonde, brown, red, you've got your warms and your cools. So a warm blonde is going to be like a buttery color um a cool blonde that's going to be more like a like an ash blonde like a platinum that you see where all the warmth is removed from that color so okay. with you being a warm tone if you wanted to just for example if you wanted to go blonde you would want a stylist that could help you find that like perfect money spot for you in the blonde spectrum that's going to work on your skin tone okay so what, how light should one go um, as far as their complexion? So let's say um, I am a warm tone, but my complexion is actually a caramel brown. So I'm not very fair skinned. So how light should someone like me go versus someone who's uh, more fair skinned than I am or someone who's um, warm tone, but slightly darker than me? 
Yeah, so there will be a couple of factors that will go into play because not everybody's hair is capable of going as light as you maybe want to go. Um, so that's that's one thing to consider, but that's going to be different for everybody, regardless of if you're warm tones or cool tone. Um, my kind of rule of thumb for people is that you, the thing that you don't want to see is you don't want to see your hair color looking almost the same color as your skin color. So, um, you imagine that you're holding up like a level scale from one to 10 and one is the darkest color and 10 is the lightest color. Mm -hmm. Then you want to stick, like, if you held that up and your skin lived in like an eight, then you would want to go, if you were going to go blonde, you'd want to go 10. You want to go all in because you want your color to be about two levels of darkness different from your skin tone. Oh, wow. That's good to know because I know that I've tried colors that completely match my skin tone. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it just looks like, like on a picture, it looks like just a lot of brown, just a lot of golden yeah. brown, you know, it, looks and it didn't awesome. really look like <laughs> <laughs> So what yeah. about the women who are or men who are cool toned? What should they look for? What They're colors gonna, are good for them? Cool toned color. So even if you're going for like a red, say, if you're a cool toned, cool toned skin person and you want to do a red, um, you would not go with say like a, um, like a copper red, which is going to be more of a warm red. You would go with a violet red, which is going to be more of a cool red. Okay. So what you about... want to, your, to mm -hmm. your skin tone. And the only exception to that really is, um, those people who have a neutral skin tone because they can do either one. They're kind of like living in on the, on the edge. They're living in the middle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what? That's a good point. Some people are not aware if they're neutral. So some people may say, well, I can do a warm tone. And I also think that I can do a cool tone, but they're not sure. Is there another way besides looking at the veins to find out if you fit in the category of being neutral? Um, you c It's harder to tell, but you can kind of tell by looking at like your natural color. If your natural color of your hair is is more of like an ashier tone, then it's likely that you probably have a cool skin tone. Or like if your eyebrows are, you know, very dark and not warm, like they're a more cool tone of eyebrow, then you probably have a cool tone skin. Okay. So would you recommend um, that warm tone skin um, people go try black or something related to black? Is that too dark for warm warmer skins I think oftentimes it is because black is um and it's it's funny because there's also can be spectrums of black but technically that's not true so like when somebody comes in my chair and says I want to be I want my hair black we're gonna whip out a hair swatch and I'm gonna have you show me what black means to you because in my color swatch you know mm -hmm. black is neutral it's not necessarily warm. It's not necessarily cool. Um, but there is such tones in even in black where you could have like a blue black and that's going to be a really cool tone, really mattified black. Or you could have something that's black, but it's got um, a lot of red and orange in the dye makeup. And that's going to that's going to appear a little bit warmer on the hair. So um, I would say to answer that question black is generally a harsh color on most people unless it's already their natural color it okay. works sometimes because sometimes people are going for a more striking look and that's totally cool i encourage everybody to try what feels right um but if if you're looking for a complementary skin tone then i would say generally um warm skin tones and black hair unless it's a natural black hair that you already have on your head um it can get a little it can get a little squirrely. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good to know. I have one more question. There are a lot of women 
and men who love platinum blonde, whether they're warm or um, neutral. So what would you recommend um, for people who are looking to go to the lightest color blonde? What would be too much? Like, do you look at your skin tone? Um, do you look at um, other factors? What would be too much if for, for those who are looking to go really, really bright, like the brightest blonde color? Um, I don't really think that there is a too much necessarily um, when we're talking about platinum. The thing that usually stops people from being able to achieve as light as they want to go is their hair. So like if they've colored it a lot of times, it's very hard to lift all of that um, artificial color out of the hair. Or for people who have, um, like for example, people who have native in their blood um, there's a lot of warmth underlying in their natural hair color. So if I'm the hairstylist and I'm lifting out their natural um, dark, dark brown or black in order to achieve a platinum, that's mm -hmm. going to be a really tough job because they have so much underlying warmth in their hair. Um, mm -hmm. I would probably, you know, I wouldn't, I don't even think I would promise that person platinum blonde because it's really very, very hard to achieve. Um, so that's that's the thing that keeps most people from going to platinum. But as far as in the sense of just tone, um, platinum's one of those, it's kind of, kind of like black, but on the opposite, where mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a statement color, definitely. So if you are wearing platinum um, and you do have a cool skin tone, I say, look for a cool tone platinum. So make sure that your that your stylist, the person doing your color, is going to put a really nice, cool, cool tone over that platinum blonde for you. Um, okay. And if you have a in tone, definitely make sure that you keep just a little bit of that warmth, a little bit of that yellow undertone in your platinum because it'll suit the skin tone much better. Okay. Does the um, the white paper test actually work? I've heard of this. Um, you would put a white sheet of paper next to your face and then look in the mirror. Does that even work to help you um, find a good color for you or find your natural tones? Um, what what is, I'm not familiar with this test. So when you hold up the white sheet of paper next to your face, what are you looking for? Well, from what I heard, you're supposed to um, look at your complexion and try to discover what are your undertones at while it's next to the white sheet of paper or white clothing. So it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a sheet of paper. It can be white clothing. I guess it could work. Yeah, because it gives you kind of a white is kind of a neutral blank canvas. So it gives you kind of a base to look at, I suppose. So, yeah, I would say that that really work. Okay. And so before we wrap it up, can you tell me a little bit about your website and what services you offer for those who are listening? Yeah. So um, my website is stylistdelisha.com and that's where I host my beauty besties blog. Um, I talk about a lot of the products that I use. I, I post all kinds of stuff on that website. It's kind of my, my spot to post wherever I want in my blog. Um, I also do a bit of boudoir photography and branding photography. So you would find some of that on there too, but that's the best spot to get to know um, a little bit more about me. And right mm -hmm. now I'm really transitioning from my career as a hairdresser behind the chair. Um, and I'm working on starting a business for online beauty coaching where I can coach people through their bathroom mirror challenges right in their own home. All right. Oh, wow. That sounds cool. So, well, thank you for joining me in this short meeting. Um, you were very helpful. Your answers were very, very helpful. And I'm sure everyone would love this. I will also include um, the website in the description. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I love your podcast. I think it's really fun that you're putting all informationals together for people. And it's really great information. I've listened to a few of them already. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Talk to you yeah. later. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. Don't forget to follow and share wherever you are. Till next time.